So today is episode two, two of the Mother's Day Marathon. So of course I have my mother with me. And today she's going to be sharing um, a few items that she has collected over the years or like some of her favorite things, mm -hmm. you know, that she's had for many, many years. And she's going to tell us like why she likes them, maybe some memories that she's had with them when she's got them. And um Stuff like that. Just so you guys can know more about her. And of course, everything's going to be about her this for these 10 days. So. Well, um, to be totally honest, I do not have a lot of favorite things. Like, I am not someone that is materialistic. So I do not form like a, an attachment to um, tangible things, you know. Um, but I do have a couple things that are... That I do love. First thing that is very dear to me is this necklace. It's a heart necklace. It's um actually from Jade. And it's from Origami Owl. And what you can do is the heart opens up and you can personalize what goes inside of it. So it opens up and oh, you can Look choose. You can you can customize it and there's quite a few choices of things that you can actually put inside of it. So the the three things that I have inside of here are can the I show words, them closer? You know what it is already, right? It's um be brave, believe, and what's the other one? <laughs> really mommy? It's believe, be brave, <laughs> and bless. The most important. Wait. So um, you can choose the color stones. You can you it, you can more or less customize to your you know liking. But this is something that I got from Jade a few years ago. It's one of the only things that I do wear. Yeah, she really doesn't wear jewelry like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not a jewelry fan, but you know this is something that I absolutely love. Um, most people that know me know that I am a huge Disney fan. Um, I've been to Disney World, um, I'm going to say maybe four times. And I have collected a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of stuff. Um, this is actually a hat that I had my name personalized. You know, um, but... What year is that from, Mommy? This, I don't... Mm, it doesn't really say. I remember this, when we got that. We were young, so that was like yeah. This is oh, this is, this is at, it's no less than ten years old. So this is another one of my favorite things. But out of all the Disney stuff, this is by far my favorite, and this is from Alexis. And it's actually something she brought me back from Tokyo, was it? I think she went to Japan. Japan, Japan. Well, Tokyo, yeah. Japan. So it is one of my favorites and I just love her so much. Um, another thing. What is that? The third thing on my list is, <laughs> you know, parents. Um, your kids are always crafting, they're always drawing, they're always making stuff at school, they're always making stuff on um, special occasions, your birthdays. Um, this is actually a picture that Joy drew when she was three years old, and it is one of my favorites. I've kept it. It better not be the one with my angry <laughs> face, because if it is, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> so there's three people in this picture. And I'm almost certain you know who this one is. <laughs> <laughs> this is a drawing. I despise that my family. I am going to make as big as I possibly can and hang in my office because it makes me smile. It is so. It is such a representation of who these people are. <laughs> Yo, why you drew her eyes like that? <laughs> and. It is one of the things that I've kept all these years. Nah. So, Joy, you were three, so this picture is 13 years old. 
I draw better than people. Yeah, and she was three. <laughs> she was three years old, and this is this is pretty good artwork for a three year old. Yeah, Joy is definitely an so, artist. We should yeah, have been able she, to see that. I, yeah, so yeah. I absolutely love this. Um, another one of my favorite things are I am is my Britney perfume. She loves Alpha Britney yeah, perfume. Like this has been one of my like I'm not into the high end yeah. perfumes, so um, it's just one of my favorites. It's very soft. It's not overpowering. It's not crazy. Yeah, like that. Um, yeah, it's 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 becoming non-existent, you know, because mm -hmm. I I rarely see it on the shelves anymore, but. It definitely is one of my favorites and most times I see it is like I try to grab them up but this is definitely one of my favorite things um, another thing that I love is this box mommy it's just the box it's it's a box no it's not just a <laughs> box it's a Kate Spade perfume um, do you like that scent though I love the colors like the orange and the pink yeah that's pretty like, I like the bottle. The scent isn't, you know, it's not terrible. I feel like this is not something you would wear. This is more like old rich woman or something. But I am, this is like one of my favorite colors at the moment. This hot pink. Mm -hmm. um, this I'm also, um, I'm also loving lilac. Like I have a lot of things in my closet that are lilac. And I think I, I, I went a little bit overboard in, you know, yeah. the lilac department. But Shit. it's definitely one of my favorite colors at the moment another thing that i absolutely love is my michael kors pouch i am not a handbag person i do not like carrying around you used to be i do not like carrying around purses i feel like it adds so much weight is it the mom in you because my mom used to have bags right? i like to be hands-free you know like the only thing that doesn't fit in here is my phone and mm -hmm. you know that's usually in my jacket pocket but i like to be hands-free i don't like carrying around load as they say you know but yeah um so i'm looking for an upgrade you know because i don't know why she <laughs> tells me that <laughs> yeah you know eventually when i'm rich you can have all of the pouches you want yeah but like I said before, I do not have a lot of favorite things because, you know, like if the house was, God forbid, burning down, there's nothing that I would run back for. There's nothing yeah. besides, you know, making sure that every member is accounted for. I am not, I'm not. Just, She's not materialistic. No. Like, and we were raised like that. So like, we love the idea of being able to buy certain things, but as far mm -hmm. as like attachment to yeah. them, you won't really see no. that. Like, we'll be attached to more sentimental things. Like, maybe something that someone mm -hmm. makes, like the picture that she showed. Yeah. But actual objects that we buy, no. Mm -hmm. Our house, no. Mm -hmm. As long as we have each other, we're good. Yeah, for sure. You know, a lot of people, you know, like, the things that we have. Like, we have a book that we have all our passports and stuff. and But apart from, yeah. there's nothing that we're, you know. Because I believe most most of those things... Like pictures and stuff you cannot replace. That's why I guess you you put them online and have them digitally. Mm -hmm. But like when Sandy the storm hit us, you know, oh, yeah. we we lost a lot. We Yeah, we lost a lot of memories. Right. We had like um, original stuff. We had like, like three photos, yeah, photos. three feet of water in our house. So we had to take everything, you know, everything was basically lost. Mm -hmm. You know, I had all my event stuff I had to get rid of. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys don't know, my mom is uh, an event planner. Like, mm -hmm. she does every type of event. She, her favorite, of course, are weddings. weddings. <laughs> but, yes, she really, really puts her all into every event that she does. And I'm also going to leave um, her Instagram link and her website link in the description so you guys can visit her or book her if you would like. Yeah, feel free to ask questions. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of times... Um, need to be put in you know pushed in the right direction mm -hmm. you know and i with me 
I try to do a lot of things myself, like a lot of things yeah. that She's I very hands-on. Yeah, a lot of a lot of my events, um, I'm not hiring all a lot of, of them. Vendors. Not a lot. Yeah. All of them. Yeah, I'm I'm practically besides you know I don't I'm not a baker you know so, <laughs> but you know most of the things that you will find at my events I've done myself. Yeah, she know? hand makes so, everything. Where how many glasses you did for J L? J L. Um, like forty something. Well, almost fifty glasses yeah. she did by herself. She did um centerpieces for um our grandma well my grandma's her mom's yeah uh like what do you call that a it was it was her 60th birthday yeah even for her 50th birthday. too yeah like she 50th. makes everything yeah the favors the decorations the centerpieces you know i try to do myself just to cut cost you know because there's always when you throw an event, you know, you don't want to put yourself in debt, especially a wedding. You know, you don't want to start off your married life in debt. You know, that's like one of the worst things to do. So, um, <laughs> but her things don't look handmade. That's another thing. Like they look like I don't want to say it like that, but like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like they look like you could have bought it. Like there's mm -hmm. nothing that looks unprofessional about them per se. Yeah. So one of my favorite things to do is personalize things. You know, I love... I mean, there's no one that we know that does not have something with their name on it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> That's why I'm like cannot, that. <laughs> you cannot find someone that we know that does not have their name written on something. Mm -hmm. You know. That's so, definitely a fact. Yeah. We are, our whole family is very, yeah. very big on personalization. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not always about what's the most expensive. And because yeah. the stuff that we give people is not something that you're just going to buy. Right something that you know you can you know even hand down to your kids you know mm -hmm. so yeah that's why you know most of the things that i do for you guys i don't i put just your first and middle you know because mm -hmm. when you get married you know you're not going to be well maybe. i'm still going to be McCoy, <laughs> period <laughs> so <laughs> Um, yeah, like when we were growing up, our, all of our book bags, our pencils, oh, our gosh. markers, yeah. everything had Towels, our name on it. Towels, yes. jackets. <laughs> yeah, everything, yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, big Disney fans. So a lot of those mm -hmm. things were from, you know, so there's, there's not ones that we've been to the mall and we do not go into the Disney store, you know, even if it's just to look. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one of my favorite places. And I hope to, you know, well, I know one day I will go to all the Disneys around the world, you know. Definitely. In Tokyo, in Paris, you know, all these places that, you know, I definitely will, you will see me there. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this little chit-chat as well as my mother sharing some personal items with you guys that she loves and some of her favorite things don't forget to like comment and subscribe and remember this is day two of the mother's day marathon and we have eight more we days to go, to go yeah. eight more to go so we're going yeah. strong and there's gonna be a cake at the end right but that's another thing that i like yeah she loves cake i actually cake on my <laughs> day, you know, but it falls on deaf ears just saying later